Today is yet another big day for many here as the country is about to witness yet another former president face questioning at the prosecutor's office as a criminal suspect in a bribery scandal. Former President Lee myung bak the 17th president of South Korea, is the latest former head of the state to be investigated. And that also means all living former South Korean presidents have now either been convicted, charged or embroiled in criminal inquiries. He is to be grilled over a series of allegations, but he remains adamant that he's being framed by the liberal Moon Jae-in administration as part of a political revenge campaign and is not admitting to any of the allegations brought up against him. Back in January, two months ago, the former president stood before the public expressing his case for the first time. And during our coverage today, we will bring you live video of the former president standing at the photo line set up at the prosecutor's office and hear from our own reporters who are on the ground. And we also have an expert's take on the issue. And here with me in the studio is professor of law Ryan Song from Kyunghee University. Great to have you here. Good morning. Uh, and before we cut to that, we are going to hear the uh, former president uh, sp uh, speak to in public, bef uh, which was set in uh, January, uh, claiming that he is innocent and that he is uh, being framed by this relatively new one-year-old, less than a year old, that is, liberal Moon Jae-in administration. Listen to this. And before we delve right into some details with our expert in studio, we'll go over to our reporter who is on standby at the Seoul Central District Prosecutor's Office, where our Oh Jung Hee has been following the story since early this morning. Now, that's also where the former president, Lee Myung Bak, is set to appear in about in moments' time from now. Jung Hee, it is a big day indeed, and I already see a group of reporters scrambling behind you. What's it like? Kevin, it's a hive of activity here at Seoul Central District Prosecutor's Office with much attention on whether Lee will make his appearance on time. And as we near the scheduled time of 9.30, more and more police are being stationed around the prosecutor's office for crowd control purposes, adding to the tension. And I can actually hear some of the protesters for and against the former president, Lee myung Bak, chanting outside the prosecutor's office. And there's a buzz in the air here among the press corps as we expect roughly 600 reporters and camera crew to gather here. Lee myung Bak is the nation's fifth former president to be questioned by state prosecutors. He faces roughly 20 allegations in total, including bri bribery, That's creating slush funds topic. and abuse of power. Over the past few months, state prosecutors have questioned numerous figures surrounding Lee, including his family members like brothers, nephew and son, as well as presidential secretaries who worked with him during his term. And all that was to close in on Lee today, who is being summoned as the main culprit of the charges I've just run through. And before entering the building, Lee is expected to stop by the photo line in front of the office and give a brief message to the nation. But as of now, we have no idea what he's going to say. But what we know for sure is that he's been firmly denying all the allegations against him, calling the investigation against him and his close aides as a political retaliation from the current administration. 
our Oh Jung Hee at the prosecutor's office for us. I think we are seeing uh, what we're seeing in another footage that's coming in as a feed is uh, the uh, officials and the close aides of the former president Lee Myung Bak going in and out of his house, indicating that he might be embarking on his trip to the prosecutor's office in moments' time. And before we, you know, cut to that video, we're just going to delve into some of the details regarding the investigation with a professor here. Uh, given uh, the grave uh, list, long list and slew of allegations uh, facing the former president, um, how grave are these allegations, if you were to say? And how, uh, speaking in le legal terms, how serious are these accusations being brought up? I think it's very serious. Uh, you know, former President Lee is accused of a slew of um, uh, counts including the abuse of power, bribery, and uh, financial crimes and tax evasions and involving uh, many different uh, institutions and also involving NIS, which is a very mm -hmm. sensitive topic. So uh, it has uh, some similarities with the former President Park's uh, uh, the allegations of uh, abuse of power and bribery. And in President Park's case, former President Park's case, the prosecution is seeking, as you know, 30 years. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for so even with a back of the envelope comparison, prosecution has a lot more uh, of the the counts against former President Lee, and it is reported that they have secured some uh, tight evidences at this point. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're going for uh, well over 10 years of the jail sentence. And some are saying uh, that it could be a life sentence, but uh, I wouldn't kind of bet on uh, that extreme. Leading up to today, we've seen multiple uh, victims and suspects and, and those close aides of the former president, Lee myung Bak being called upon for questioning by the prosecutors right. leading up to this day by calling the actual former um, head of the state. Um, how close are the prosecutors in terms of possibly requesting an arrest warrant like you just mentioned um, for the former president? It seems like they do have a tight case against him, uh, having to prepare some 120 pages of questions uh, to grill on. Um, how close are they in terms of getting at the former president? I think they are very close. Uh, I, I think that they are ready and uh, uh, ready in, in terms of having uh, necessary elements in place to ask for the arrest warrant. Uh, as you mentioned, close aides and key witnesses uh, account uh, providing the evidence, I think it's very dispositive in this matter, that uh, a prosecution uh, can ask for a arrest warrant and get ready for the, the ma uh, main part of the prosecution. And the prosecutor's office have also said that they are going to, they, that, that they don't have any other uh, questioning sessions scheduled for the former president, indicating that this may be the one and only Q&A session that they may have with the former president. How many hours or how many hours are we expecting with the president once he goes in? Well, in this kind of similar cases, you uh, usually see the, the questioning sessions go well into the wee hours of night. And this time, I don't think is going to be different. Uh, they have 20 uh, some counts of allegations and question sheets. Uh, they number over 120. So even if the pr former President Lee denies categorically mm -hmm. every allegations, probably there would be a lot of questions to, uh, if not anything, to put him his responses on record mm. uh, before the trial. I mean, it goes without saying that prosecutors are fully prepped and ready to grill the former president. Um, what would be the former president's case? What could be his strategy going against this overly prepared uh, prosecutor, prosecutors? I think the pro it's, it's hard to say at this point because uh, this case involves, because he was a former president, uh, it has a legal aspect of it, obviously, mm -hmm. but it has a political aspect as he was trying to frame it as a conservative versus liberal, a right. tit for tat Korean political drama mm -hmm. so far. So uh, it could be that he would deny everything and uh, try to uh, duke it out in, in the, the, the court of law. But at the same time, uh, there is a, a real issue that involves a structure, structural deficiencies, mm -hmm. uh, which involves the president getting into uh, kind of this kind of foray because of the decisions that the president make 
will always produce winners and losers, and there, there are those people who are resentful of the, the kinds of uh, uh, losses they have sustained. So uh, I think that in order to get this thing uh, kind of cleared up in a political sense, uh, probably that will involve uh, this party actions uh, and negotiations. But they start with, of course, the, the legal actions. And the videos that our viewers may be watching, as they just turned to our channel, is the actual outside of the home of the former president, Lee Myung-bak, who is scheduled to appear before prosecutor's office at 9.30 a.m. sharp in moments time now. Um, Yesterday, his uh, former presidential secretary um, had hinted that the former president may give an address before stepping into the prosecutor's office. What could we expect? Would, we, would it be a simple, I'm sorry for causing such a trouble as a former president like we had seen mm -hmm. about a year ago from another former president, Park Geun-hye? Right. Uh, I think that's uh, something that I would uh, kind of make attention to, pay attention to, mm -hmm. because that will indicate his even strategies uh, in dealing with all those legal troubles. He has been saying that uh, this is a, the political revenge, and he has pitted it's a pitting against the conservative uh, versus liberal. You know, he has his reasons. It happened to Ro Mu Hyun, and it happened to Park Geun-hye, mm -hmm. and even before that. So it's part of the Korean kind of saga that leading up to it. That's why I, I'm saying there is a, a kind of a political culture issue, but also a structural issue. Mm -hmm. So if he sticks to that script, probably what he would say, in addition to perfunctory or sincere apologies, he would try to keep it that way. But as he was coming into a kind of real legal trouble, uh, probably what he would say, uh, whether he would categorically deny everything or he would uh, try to resort to a statute of limitation kind of the defense, uh, try to say that, that the time has uh, already passed to deal with these issues, uh, that will pr probably be indicated in what he says uh, when you're coming in. And also yesterday, E's uh, former presidential senior secretary for political affairs also mentioned that the former president is also cornered with some financial issues, having to hire some a group of lawyers to defend him for the case. Why the need to mention the money a day before appearing for the prosecutor's office? Would that be a signal to his potential strategy that we're looking into? Well, so far I'm not giving uh, too much weight on <laughs> everything he says, but it could be that uh, um, if the allegations uh, that all these bribers and all those things uh, would make his, you know, the chest uh, brim with illegal money, mm -hmm. and maybe he's saying that that is not true. I don't have money uh, that has been accused to be uh, flowing into his his purses. Oh, so it might be pleading that I'm clean. And also, speaking about lawyers, um, a year ago when a similar case uh, erupted with another former president, Park Geun-hye, who is now jailed and is waiting for verdict to be announced uh, early next month, she had a group of lawyers to defend her. Whereas this time for the former Lee Myung-bak, former president Lee Myung-bak, he's only starting with four lawyers. Mm -hmm. Would that mm -hmm. signal that his case or would that number of lawyers eventually expand over time? Uh, possibly. <clears throat> they have four lawyers on record at this point as mm -hmm. far as we know. Uh, that might indicate the kind of uh, the strategies that they have are probably uh, de dealing with uh, major issues rather than dealing with all kinds of counts. So that might indicate that there is a kind of a political uh, aspect of it. Let me interrupt. I think that is what we're seeing <coughs> on camera uh, as our live video footage is the actual former president, Lee Myung-bak, leaving his home to appear for the prosecutor's office, which is just about a 15 minutes drive on a no normal commute. Um, and it's also significant to see a, a stark contrast of what we've seen last year. It's, it was exactly this month last year when we mm -hmm. saw a similar scenario uh, unfolding for the former president. Uh, but in stark difference, we're not seeing much of a supporter for the, this former president, Lee Myung-bak. Why would be the case if you were to 
trip in? Well, his background, as you know, was, has not been political all the way. He was a rag to riches kind turned, of businessman. Yes. So we, we don't have identifiable group of people who would be known as, in President Park's, former President Park's case, uh, Park Samo or uh, President Ro Myung's case, Ro Samo. Uh, we don't have that kind of following at this point. Uh, he has been pretty uh, transactional in his dealings and in his um, the, the execution of his uh, post, whether it be uh, mayor of Seoul or the president. So I wouldn't read into the fact that the supporters are not organized at this point. Um, we, from his house, uh, the former, from the house of the former president to the prosecutor's office, we understand that it's only a f less than five kilometers away and on a normal commute that would be about 15 to 16 minutes drive. But t today, um, as you can see, that's just 4.7 kilometers approximately. And that's even 10 minutes uh, according to uh, CG put up there. Uh, but I think the police uh, patrols are um, controlling the traffic lights so that uh, the mm -hmm. former president goes to the prosecutor's office without having to wait for other lights um, on his way. Right. Uh, this, this is not the, usually the traffic that I deal with in <laughs> usual uh, hours. Not the ones that I've seen on normal days either. Um, right. He lives in Nonhyeondong, so it's a fairly close distance. Is this controlling the traffic lights so, so he could go to his destination smoothly part of a privilege given to former presidents, would you say? Right. Uh, this has attention of the all, uh, everybody in Korea at this point. So I think they are trying to make it as expedient as possible mm -hmm. so that they wouldn't see the, the heavy traffic on the way to a very important session. And we've mentioned another former president who still stands on trial, is waiting for verdict rather. Right. Um, but all of this, this case today with the former president Lee myung -bak, comes while another former president is put Park Geun-hye is now currently behind bars, possibly mm -hmm. looking at 30 years of prison time. Right. Um, though the verdict is, as I've said, will be um, delivered on April. Mm -hmm. um, she too was being held responsible for alleged bribery, abuse of power, and other crimes. Um, what does this say about the country? We're seeing already two previous conservative governments and right. the heads of the state uh, facing a, a similar allegations, so to speak. What does that say about? Right. Not a lot of good things uh, to, on surface. If I were to make some, some, it's not a defense or excuses, but Korea, when we're developing, uh, it developed on the back of the success of uh, a, a collaboration between the government and businesses. businesses. But the dark side of it is that that's a breeding ground for corruption issues. And all the, the political activities requires money. Mm -hmm. And the countries have different ways of dealing with that situation, with uh, political contributions and lobbying legislations. The U.S. is different. Uh, Korea has been uh, in my assessment, they're pretty deficient. So politicians, uh, even with a reasonable intentions, have to seek with some loopholes okay. to secure uh, enough funding. So uh, a, a lot of politicians, including uh, mainly the president, has faced a lot of uh, at least questionable uh, instances of this kind of uh, inquiries. So I, I think it's a little bit uh, uh, cultural because of the backgrounds like that. And also a little bit structural because the way it is set up. Mm. So uh, I think, I don't know if you have time to talk about it, but the, the constitutional reform, that I think, I has to address I was going to, to say that too. perhaps that is why the uh, political realm today is pushing so hard for a p constitutional reform, p right. possibly even changing some of the presidential system within it as well. Right. The, the, uh, I'm not saying anything about the, the case under Lee myung bak but Korea in general is mm -hmm. not known for a uh, 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 court-to-bone corruption. Right. right? The, our success has been kind of based on the, 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 a lot of people working very hard at mm -hmm. top to bottom. So uh, th this is probably an opportunity to kind of take care of what has been a dark side here and there and that has been uh, decreasing. Uh, so uh, I, I think that this could be an opportunity, as tragic as it is, mm. to see another president getting into legal trouble. 
And what we're seeing on the scene is the former president, Lee Myung-bak, heading towards the prosecutor's office. From his own home to the office itself is only 10 to 15 minutes uh, commute. So we will be seeing president, the former president, stand before a crowd of reporters on standby at the prosecutor's office. And we also know he's being escorted by police and security personnel. And we also know that the former minister of the interior and safety, Bing hyung mm -hmm. and the former chief of the presidential secretary, Liu Wu-ik, will be in attendance accompanying the former president. And that's not out of the norms, is it? Yeah, it's, it is not. Uh, they will now obviously go into the interrogation room or the, the question room uh, with him, but close aides for moral support or logistical support, uh, he's entitled to bring uh, some people at least. And I think we also had some of the sitting current lawmakers b visit the former president early this morning at his house, mm -hmm. who used to serve as the former defense minister um, and, uh, and others, possibly, as you said, to give him a moral support and to you know say that there are people standing behind him Possibly, right. correct? Right. <laughs> would that be right? Uh, I mean, there, there would be close people who would kind of beat him well um, to get, get through this the quagmire, uh, legal mm. trouble and political trouble. And um, I, I think that he will have uh, continued to uh, solicit uh, advices and moral support from uh, people close to him. If uh, it may be a stretch to ask you this now, um, but uh, if found guilty, what kind of future does he face? Does he, f I mean, jail time, like necessary, mm -hmm. could be necessary, as well as being stripped of all privileges that he's been given as the former head of the state. Right. Unfortunately, we have uh, good precedents dating back to uh, Chan Du Han, Ro Mu Hyun, mm -hmm. and uh, also the President Park's privileges have been uh, stripped off, uh, too. So we have a fairly good idea what kind of uh, uh, the privileges he would retain, obviously, the, the, the security would be provided, but uh, unless he's pardoned at some point in the future, probably a lot of uh, presidential privileges would be uh, off him. I think we are seeing uh, the motorcade and the vehicles carrying former President Lee Myung-bak entering the complex of the prosecutor's office. Uh, that is the Seoul Central District Prosecutor's Office. Uh, he was scheduled to appear at 9.30 sharp. It is 9.23. It is passing 9.23. A bit early than been required to appear. Um, and we're also expecting a statement from the former president before he enters the office, correct? Right. Uh, I think that uh, this is a crucial moment where he, what he says uh, right off the kind of getting out of the car and uh, facing, probably addressing the whole nation, mm -hmm. uh, probably it's a significant That's him, moment. former President Lee Myung-bak, facing a group of reporters who've been waiting for him. The economy is going through difficulties and security situations around the Korean Peninsula is very grave. And um, I would like to apologize for making such trouble related to myself and to all of the supporters who have trusted me. Also, as well as many people who are going through difficulties due to this trouble, I would like to send my deepest apologies to them as well. As a former president of this country, I would have uh, many messages to share with you, but um, I am determined uh, that I should uh, make my message very short. But I hope that in the history. Uh, I hope that this would be the last presence. And once again, I would like to apologize to all of the citizens of the nation.
There you have it. The former president, Lee Myung Wak, speaking before the reporters, uh, apologizing ahead of times and saying that, uh, you know, sorry to the public uh, for causing such a dismay right, involving him and his relatives and close aides. And he also mentioned such cases being brought up amid while the country is facing uh, critical issues mm -hmm. in terms of economy um, and uh, diplomatic issues, not to mention. Um, but little mention of whether or not he uh, does or not admit his uh, allegations being brought up to him. Right. Uh, probably he will do that uh, in the questioning. But he also said he's going to be kind of scant in what he says. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, this is kind of paraphrasing. Um, so if we take that as a kind of face value probably uh, there will be a lot of denials uh, as as I can see I, I think that that kind of uh, jibes well with the, he's the, the size of the defense team that mm -hmm. he has and what he has been saying so far but when he mentioned that this is a time when a very unfortunate moment where there are a lot of things happening in this country yes. and this thing has brought up uh, he's also putting it into a kind of a, a political background. Mm -hmm. too. I mean, speaking on that term, it, it's, I mean, looking at a larger picture, this may be a one <coughs> political debacle that we go through uh, looking back in history. But Korea is going through a critical phase of its own in terms of economy and not to mention diplomatically with possible upcoming talks with North Korea. And with right. there is also a North Korea U.S. summit uh, following shortly after. How is this issue? this issue that we're seeing today largely seeming to drive the country's political arena apart. I mean, we're speaking, that's a conservative former president mm -hmm. who is facing allegations. <laughs> and currently, this country is being ruled by liberal president who now is looking at a full year since coming into office. How right. will this, as you said, tit for tat is going to affect this political arena? Will it pull it apart going or how is that going to affect the country moving forward as, as a whole? Uh, I, I think that it has a very important connection to it because, uh, as you mentioned, the, the Korea is a juncture diplomatically and uh, security-wise that there are a lot of issues. And a lot of it requires a collaboration between the p two parties, mm -hmm. the leading parties and opposition parties. So if that becomes a kind of a factored into his case going forward, not on the legal proceeding side, but a political solution if they ever seek it, probably that would be a, 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 an important connection there. Uh, th this kind of things are always dictated by the news cycles, mm. which one comes at the top of the uh, headlines right. probably will be uh, uh, important. So there will be a lot of maneuvering politically and legally on this issue, so in that connection. But the, I think the larger picture is that as we go through the unfortunate uh, uh, indictments to former mm -hmm. uh, presidents on a yearly basis, uh, if it becomes a kind of uh, you know, dismaying realities of Korean politics, probably the pessimism will, will reign. But I, I, I think that we have to use this as an opportunity to make the political institutions stronger. Um, as we have seen, I think the Constitutional Court has gained a credibility over the years. Prosecution, prosecution is doing its best to shed this you know, image that they are always a henchman of the, of the power, whoever he has. So uh, I, I think this thing has to be uh, thoroughly investigated. Mm -hmm. And if the timing you know, becomes a kind of a political chip, uh, but, uh, there it is. We have to go through that. But to what comes out of it should be that we have stronger institutions, uh, whether it be uh, investigative body or right. the executive. I think that the, the constitutional reform uh, discussion is closely related to what kind of a future political arena we make and fix. Uh, it has been uh, deficient over the years. And writing on that, and very briefly, would that also influence public sentiment as well? We've talked about, you know, boosting the structural system within the country as well as the the juggling of the rival political parties. Is this going to divide the public sentiment, or is this not much of a deal in terms of, you know, drawing the public apart? Uh, I think there will be a lot of debate, uh, and the worrying part of the debate has been that there is always divisiveness 
but we're seeing that the, the civil society is, uh, has been uh, talking in, in different terms and it seems like pe people are getting into a comfortable feeling that yes, we can talk about different matters and mm -hmm. we, can, we can diverge in our opinions, but uh, it, it is al always a healthy tension that we can expect uh, to make the institutions better. And I think we are going to cut into uh, the former president's speech uh, that he spoke uh, before the group of reporters as he was walking into the prosecutor's office. Let's listen in. Above all, at a time when the national economy is going through hardships and security situation surrounding the Korean Peninsula is very grave, I apologize to the public for causing such dismay. Also for many supporters who have trusted me and all of those who are going through challenges related to this trouble, I said my deepest apologies to all of them. As a former president of the nation, I have many things to say, but I am determined that I should save my breath. <coughs> but I hope that in the history, that this trouble will be, be the last presence. And once again, I apologize to the citizens of the nation. And that was President, uh, former President Im Myung Bak at the prosecutor's office just moments ago. And we are going to connect back to our Oh Jung Hee, who was at the scene for us. Um, Chung Hee, just give us a run through of what he said as you were there on standby, also watching this historic moment. I mean, just as usual, we saw the former president is beginning his speech by apologizing to the public. Um, and in terms of the investigation, we're expecting that this will go on throughout the entire day. Yes, I mean, actually, the former president, Lee myung Bak, was supposed to appear here at 9.30, but he appeared slightly earlier than we expected at about uh, 9.23 a.m. And as he appeared, the atmosphere here uh, heated up once again with reporters flocking around and surrounding the former president. And uh, just as we expected, the former president stopped by the photo line in front of the office and delivered a short message to the nation. He said he's sorry to have caused troubles amid economic difficulties and grave security situations surrounding the Korean Peninsula and expressed that he'd like to send apologies to his supporters and many people experiencing difficulties. Though saying that he's got lots to share with people as the nation's former president, he said he'd like to keep his message short and again expressed apologies for causing a dismay. And uh, it's now only 9.33, but he's already in there. And now that he's inside the prosecutor's office, it's expected he's been taken to meet with senior prosecution officials. Then he'll be interrogated on the 10th floor in the exact same room where Park geun was questioned. The entirety of the questioning will be video recorded. Throughout the day, there's a possibility Lee could be cross-interrogated with uh, some of his former close aides, including a couple of then-presidential secretaries and asset manager, um, as they've been quite cooperative for the prosecution and provided detailed testimonies. It's going to be a long day for both the prosecutors and Lee himself, and the questioning is expected expected to last throughout the whole day. It could end before midnight, but most don't think Lee will be able to leave the prosecutor's office until tomorrow morning after the prosecutors take a look over their interrogation record. Um, and uh, 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 we will have to, we will probably have to wait until the weekend to see whether the prosecution will seek an arrest warrant against the former president, Im Young Bak Semin. Our Oh Jung Hee at the Seoul District's Central District Prosecutor's Office for us. Thank you. So, Professor, it looks like looking back at this brief moment that we've been all waiting for to see the former President Lee Myung-bak stand at the photo line before the public, before the reporters, mm -hmm. uh, trying to possibly defend his case. Uh, we didn't see much of that today. Um, right. What are we looking at throughout the day and possibly through midnight? 
I think the investigation will, or questioning session will uh, continue if the expectation is uh, correct that it will continue to the wee hours of night mm -hmm. tomorrow. And I think that what we will uh, try to kind of focus on is whether the arrest warrant will be asked. Uh, probably not at the spot um, mm. for uh, his uh, status as a former president is to be honored in any way. Uh, but uh, I think the prosecution is ready as we discussed. Uh, all the necessary uh, elements are there. So if they are going forward with the prosecution, probably they can uh, uh, try to ask for the arrest warrant uh, as early as tomorrow. So sometime this week, you're expecting an, an arrest warrant to be requested by the prosecutors, which will then strip, automatically strip the former president for all of his uh, privileges? Would that be the... Well, the... at this point, he's not convicted at this point, but uh, it's going to be uh, soon. It will be suspended uh, mm -hmm. depending on the outcome of the investigation. Okay, um, that does it for us. For, and thank you for your insight, Professor Sung, uh, Ryan Song. For, Thank you. for coming into the office for us. Thank you. And that'll do it for us on this special edition of Arirang News on this coverage of the former president, Lee Myung-bak, being questioned and grilled for hours, expecting to be grilled for hours by the prosecutor's office uh, and the prosecutors over going head-to-head -head over a strict case that is over allegations uh, including bribery. Um, that'll do it for us at the hour on Arirang's special edition. Our next news lineup at 10 a.m. Korea time, and we will bring you more updates uh, during that newscast as well. Thank you for watching and goodbye.